back to another video. I feel like you are so far away from me right now. I'm having to crouch down so that we can fit all this food in the shot. Now I thought I would come back with a little bit of like an old school style Cosmic Collect video, a food haul. I've been really inspired lately by watching Ray Likes Fruit. If you don't already subscribe to her, check her out. I'm gonna link her below because it is thanks to her that I decided to make this video because I've been watching all her food hauls lately and I've just been like, I miss doing those. I used to do those all the time. The reason why I stopped doing them is because I just kind of got into the routine of buying the same things all the time and then I felt like I showed you everything that I bought, but I haven't done one in like, I don't know, like a year or something maybe, like a full entire year. So we're living in a different country now since I last did one, like it's just all different. Things are changing. So I thought I would show you a little bit of a food haul from Tesco. So the first thing that I get is always frozen fruit. I've really been loving oatmeal for breakfast or they're really good for smoothies, but I don't have a blender at the moment. So I've just been making oatmeal bowls and I'll always put raspberries in them because they're my favorite. So then I always have these in my freezer. These are just peas, just standard peas. Um, these are actually the petty ones, so they're even smaller. I usually get the bigger ones. I don't know why I bought these ones, but I like these ones as well. And they're just really great for adding into curries, stir fries, pastas, just on their own with gravy on them. Like I eat these all the time. They are not to be underrated. They're so amazing. So next I always get a bag of broccoli. Again, these go into our stir fries, our curries, just on their own with gravy. So we get a couple bags of these. My other bag is in the freezer already. The stress of filming food hauls is like, everything's gonna defrost, be fast, be fast. <laughs> That's honestly what goes through every person's head when they're filming a food haul. So then on to all the fresh stuff, which you can't really see let me see if I can use my super girl powers Ta -da! <laughs> oh my god 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 <laughs> do not try and lift a, a table with your leg and um, this table would actually be great though if it was like a tiny bit higher then it would be perfect level for these shots but anyway so first thing is tomatoes on the vine then we have some mixed chilies then we have a cucumber Ta-da! This is a very skinny cucumber. Then we have some butternut squash and sweet potato soup mix. I'm really excited about this. I've never bought one of these before, but it's just so much easier. All you have to do is add stock and then boil it, and it just takes 25 minutes. It serves, does not serve four people, unless it's like a snack or something. I don't know why it says it serves four people. Next, we have some of this baby leaf salad. So this is my favorite type. I really love spinach, I really love rocket, and this is kind of a mix of lots of stuff. Then we have a fresh broccoli as well. I usually only buy the frozen broccoli because I did buy two bags of frozen broccoli, but it was like a three for one pound offer. So you could get parsnips, then you could get carrots, and then you could get like whatever. So I thought I would get fresh broccoli because three for one pound or else it was gonna be like 90p for the other two things by themselves. So this broccoli was like 10p, so it's gonna be delicious. Also another really nice thing to do with broccoli is just put soy sauce on it, like it's so, so good. Then I got some grapes. Red grapes are my favorite, but this time I decided to get like a half and half one. I eat so much grapes. There was like a week, I think it was not last week, but the week before where I ate like five pounds of grapes in one week. Next up, I have some baby potatoes. I just got myself a couple bags of these. They're really easy because you don't have to peel them. You just pop them straight in the pot. That's why I love these ones because I don't like the potatoes that are covered in mud because I'm lazy. Next, we have my favorite thing ever, which is pink slaw. So pink slaw is just made out of vegetables, water, cider vinegar, and caster sugar and salt. Next, I got some easy peeler Jaffas. They were like two for the price of one. So I got two bags of these. The other ones are sitting out on the table because I took them out for a pitcher. Oh, I was trying to pick up four at once, but ah, there we go. Easy peelers. <laughs> Next, I got some peppers. So I've got one yellow one and two red ones. I don't like the green ones, but then I've heard the green ones are just ones that have been picked too soon. Then obviously I have my parsnips and carrots that came in the broccoli deal. I lost the parsnip. <laughs> Last thing in the fresh section is closed cup mushrooms. I love mushrooms. They're great in stir fries and curries and chilies and everything. Basically all I ever make is stir fry chilies and curries and things with gravy on them. Like that is it, four options. 
four options in the cosmic kitchen <laughs> next up what i want to show you is dairy free alternatives that we have in this house so what we always get is oat so we use this alfro oat original one and we also use oatly we just pick whichever one's cheaper this week this one was 140 and oatly was 150 so this one won and that's the way that we do it we always just pick the cheapest oat milk uh, there is also almond milk soy milk coconut milk um, hazelnut milk, hemp milk, cashew milk, uh, there's actually loads. There's loads and loads of milks to choose from, but we've tried them all and oat is our favorite, which is why we just buy it in bulk now. Then we also get some of this, which is Alpro Vanilla Soy Yogurt. Jamie eats this with muesli like every single day for breakfast. He absolutely loves it. And then I thought I would show you the butter that we use. Um, so this is Live Free Pure Butter Sunflower Spread. And we also use the Flora Dairy Free one. And we get these and they last like a month or something for us. You can get them both in normal Tesco's and they actually both have the vegan sticker on them. So that's cool. Next up is cupboard staples. So I've got loads of different tins of things. I've got red kidney beans, which you can get in the everyday value range. I've got chopped Italian tomatoes. I have chickpeas. I actually have like six tins of chickpeas. I just didn't sit them all out. Uh, I love chickpeas. I have some black eyed beans and I also have some pinto beans. So there's loads of different beans that you can get in Tesco's and it just helps your food have like different textures. So when you're making a chili, it's a good idea to not just always just put the kidney beans in, throw some pinto beans in there, throw some black eyed beans in there. And it just makes it like so much nicer. Then I also have a couple of pasta sauces. So this one's the mushroom pasta sauce and this one is the chunky veg sauce so these are really easy because you just cook up the pasta you throw this in throw in some broccoli some peas and then you've got a meal and they're both actually marked suitable for vegans on the back as well which is really really cool then i also have a curry sauce this one's the tesco madras one and it's also marked suitable for vegans on the back again it's just good if you don't want to make your own curry sauce which I don't because I don't own all the ingredients to make my own stuff. It's good to just be able to get the jarred one and it's really easy. So then on to bread, I have some wholemeal pita, which I use for dipping into hummus, obviously. And we also just have a plain loaf of multi-seed farmhouse, which is really, really nice as well. It's only like 80p. Then we have Jamie's muesli, which he eats all the time, which I have no idea what the obsession is because I just... I just don't think it's great, but for any muesli lovers out there, this one's amazing according to Jamie. <laughs> then I have a big massive bag of basmati rice. It's actually huge, it's two kilograms. Obviously we don't buy this in our weekly shop. This will last us like a good couple weeks, like probably like three weeks or so. So um, yeah, these are just things that I just keep in my cupboards and just buy as we run out of them. Then I have some whole wheat pasta. This is the pen one, penne, penne, not pen. Um, and then we have the whole wheat fusilli one as well. And I nearly forgot quinoa. So we don't eat quinoa that much. This bag probably will last us about a month because it's just like once every two weeks, I'm like, I'm a health goddess. I'm gonna have some quinoa for lunch. <laughs> so um, I really, really like this one. It's actually pretty cheap as well. Next up, we have the treat section. So we just got an Easter egg because Easter is this weekend and these are actually really cheap. I think this is about three pound. So it's free from milk, wheat, and it's actually gluten-free as well. So it's gonna be absolutely delicious. I think we're just gonna share one unless we pick up another one before the weekend. Then we have some Odie's, which are delicious. They're like Tesco's own brand of hobnobs. And they've actually got a big vegan on the front. So you know that they're definitely vegan. Then we also have Rich Tea Finger Biscuits. Um, and these are also marked vegan. Again, Tesco's is really good at marking things vegan, which is amazing. And then we have his and hers. So I absolutely love popcorn. So I've got some perfectly sweet popcorn. It's also marked suitable for vegans on the back. Uh, so that's really really good and then jamie gets these sea salt and cider vinegar crisps he just gets whatever salt and vinegar crisps are on offer these ones happen to be a pound this week so we got these ones or we'll get the kettle ones or we'll get the tesco ones just whatever ones are cheapest that week then last but not least we have the miscellaneous section so i have some mexican chili bean soup this is usually quite expensive. I think it's like $1.99 or something, but I only ever buy it whenever it's on special. 
So it's just tomato, minced beans, rice, carrot, potato, tomato puree, you know, like garlic, chili. It's actually more suitable for vegans as well. And it's just really good whenever you don't wanna cook. So I've got a couple of those. Then I also have the Everyday Value Garlic Baguette. This is really nice as well. So in the like normal Tesco garlic bread that they make, they use butter, whereas in the Everyday Value one, they don't wanna spend as much money. So they use margarine, because making vegan food is actually cheaper. So that's why this is like accidentally vegan. And then also this week, I didn't order any like specialty vegan frozen food, um, but I do have these in my freezer. So this is the vegetable quarter pounder. Tesco also do like sweet potato falafels frozen. They also do avocado and peanut burgers. They do spicy bean burgers. They do vegetable fingers. And then they also have like loads of Linda McCartney stuff. So these are the red onion and rosemary sausages. They're really, really good. And yeah, there's loads of stuff in the freezer section now of Tesco's. So you really have so many options, which is absolutely amazing so that's everything that i bought as i said we usually spend about 60 pound on a big shop we do that every week maybe every two weeks and then we just buy things as we go along so things that i would usually buy that weren't included in the shop as well would be like hummus and um, oatmeal what else tea bags coffee just the usual things like that as well uh, but we usually buy all these staples and then we just mix it up depending on what is on offer that week so if you liked this video don't forget to leave a comment below and give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel don't forget to check out ray likes fruit if you love foodles because hers are the best she even does like a budget series so that's absolutely amazing i'll leave her link in the description and i will talk to you very very soon let me know if you'd like me to make more food haul videos um because i'm always buying food and i'm always eating so i might as well and i will talk to you very very soon in my next video and thanks so much for watching bye